So here we are, heading south towards Wall Street along the banks of the River Hudson, just leaving Hudson Yards as we embark upon our drive around Manhattan. And we're going to check out the new Lucid Building, which is exciting. Ahead of me, I can see the One World Trade Center standing there majestically. Adjusting my driver's settings here. Quick controls. Working very nicely, very intuitive. Select the air conditioning. Just down the temperature a little bit here. Massage seat function. Go through that menu. That's very intuitive. That's good. I'm really enjoying the glass cockpit here because it's just, uh, you know, it, everything that I need, all the driver instrumentation, all the driver information is really on line of sight with the road. I don't have to take my eyes off my central vision. One of the great things with the display is that I can get very precise finger touch because of the ergonomics with my elbow. My elbow's controlling where I can position my finger very precisely. So we can have smaller icons, a more precise interaction. Yeah, this is good. So I think this, this IP, this instrument panel quality, is really there. It's absolutely fabulous. That's production ready. But some of these little switches, uh, we need to play with and adjust the, uh, the detent spring stiffness and, and detent ball, just to give them that Swiss watch quality. I'm just checking for visibility here in this dense urban environment. It's pretty good. We modified the mirrors for um, enhanced visibility from the betas. So we were getting a blind spot between the mirror and the A-pillar, and we made a big change quite late, drove the supplier nuts and, and the engineering team, but man, it was worth it. Now it's paid dividends. Just facing up to these issues and nipping them in the bud. It's really lithe and agile here, very maneuverable. I'm going to try this cobblestone surface now. This is Belgian Parve in Manhattan. This is like a durability test track for the car, and we're getting all these range of inputs. A real great test for not just the longitudinal compliance of the suspension, the multi-link. We're actually feeling, you know, just the great range of sensitivity through a whole range of lock angles. The ergonomics of the seats really fitting me well now, and they've got great, great support very nice posture. I'm liking that a lot. Feeling very at home in lucid air. Yeah, well done. And this particular model is Grand Touring. So um, with Grand Touring having over 500 mile range, I think I could, could last in Manhattan for about a month before recharging. Who knows? <laughs> Several weeks at least. I'm getting a lot of admiring glances now from people in the street. Do you like it? Lucid. Thank you. It's not a nine production yet. No. Uh, later this year. No, please, please do. This car is so compact and usable in this urban city. This compactness in a big city. It's eminently usable. And really defines a new class of car with so much interior space and comfort and yet the ability to just uh, weave in and around the traffic, park easily, maneuver, it's a great combination. There we see a Porsche Taycan. <laughs> we can get in places the Taycan can. Here we go into the meatpacking district. This is getting interesting. Great part of town. So here we have the new Lucid building. So I'm just pulling it around in front here. But here we have introducing luxury electric. Lucid Air is coming to town. Yeah, we're arrived. We're going to be big in Manhattan. <laughs> uh, I'm stuck at the red light. Very congested. Oh, someone's coming out. New York traffic. <laughs> oh, there's another red. Stuck on another red, but stuck on a red.